Hello everyone and welcome to another session of Dark Souls PvP. I am here with the Sunlight Blade, also known as Ace of Diamonds, and this is part two of my Battle of the Uploaders Xbox Edition. Now, the reason I say Xbox Edition is obviously because I'm on the Xbox, but because they're, most of the Battle of the Uploaders videos that I've seen are all on the PS3. I actually don't think I've seen a single one for the Xbox, so figured might as well make my contribution. So, uh, the Sunlight Blade and I, we were trying to get this arranged for a little while, and actually I love that little back step thing he did to dodge the lightning. That was pretty cool. Um, actually, I know you can do it to dodge arrows, but I didn't actually expect it to be able to dodge an area of effect attack. That was pretty cool. I definitely, definitely am going to try using that at some point. Um, anyway, the Sunlight Blade and I, we were trying to get this arranged for a while, and, you know, we just kept missing each other. It just seems like that's the way it is when you're trying to fight another uploader. You don't have the same schedules as them and such, so it happens. But we finally got it arranged, we finally got to fight, and this is the result. Now, um, he is on a faith and dexterity build. He's using the washing pole, so he's got at least 20 strength, I believe it is. Um, probably 40 dexterity, 30-ish attunement, because I don't think he's got any other spells. So he's probably just got the base, or not attunement, 30-ish faith. One, whatever it is for one slot of attunement, I don't know, 10, 12, 11, something like that, I don't remember. Um, so he, yeah, he's got that, he's got a good amount of health, um, he's fast rolling, so that's definitely something he's got over me, I'm medium rolling on this build. Um, and he's using the washing pole, and I hate the washing pole, I hate fighting against it so much. It's definitely one of the it's definitely one of the weapons I hate the most. The others being spears, and I'm not that big of a fan of fighting against smoke hammer. Just because it's awkward and the parry, you have to be really you have to be in really close. Um, same goes for most of that hammers actually, but smoke's hammer it seems like it's the most awkward to get in close against. So right there, that was actually a pretty good parry on his part. That was really good. I liked that. It was extremely, an extremely predictable move on my end. So that was that was just my fault. That was bad on my end. But anyway, so my build. Um, actually, before I go into my build, he I'll go over his armor. He's using the armor of thorns and the grass crest shield. Now, what I don't understand is why he has the Egghead. Maybe, I don't know, does the Egghead give some sort of bonus at all? Maybe some fire defense? That'd be cool if he had some fire defense. And, oh, his rings. He's got the red tier stone on, and probably either Havels or the Ring of Favor and Protection. So, he's got the red tier stone, he's got Sunlight Blade, he's got the Washing Pole, he has the potential to hit massive damage. So I'm thinking that this build he's on is a gank squad hunting build. He is going for gankers. And actually, right there, I didn't expect to free throw that into his foot. So, I don't know. That was kind of cool. I was aiming for the water, trying to get the little area of effect lightning thing to happen. But I got his foot, so I'm not going to complain. Um, now, my build, it's just a... Uh, basic obsidian greatsword build with faith added in. Now the obsidian greatsword, it's really somewhat overshadowed, it seems like, by the abyss greatsword and by most of the other dragon weapons because it's got a lower damage output than the others, it seems, other than the drake sword, of course. Um, but, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, but the obsidian greatsword, it's got extremely low stat requirements. Um, that was a good parry on his part. That was pretty good. And one of the red lizard, happy looking lizard things came in and tried to interrupt us, but didn't get to that time. I'm not foreshadowing anything. Just didn't get to that time. Um, so the Obsidian Greatsword, 
it's really, it seems somewhat overshadowed by the, um, by the Abyss Greatsword and by the other dragon weapons. Now, it does have lower damage output than them. It tops off at, I think it was 480 damage, but it can be buffed. And when one-handed, it's got an interesting, somewhat, a somewhat interesting move set. Um, it's slightly different than the standard greatsword move set, so it's pretty cool. And really, it's not that bad as far as the damage. I mean, right there, I just hit a 580. Yeah, I've got some light blade on it, but that's still pretty good. It's nothing to. I wouldn't want to get hit by a 580 at any point, really. Um. So. I've got that. It's a faith build with four attunement slots. I've got Wrath of the Gods, Sunlight Blade, as you saw. Um, I've got Great Lightning Spear and, uh, what's it called? Emit Force. And I find that those are a good combination of miracles. So, right here, he said, he was messaging me, he said that he was going to switch things up. He's going to use the Black Knight Halberd. Halberd? Halberd? Whatever. Um, and I was like, okay, I'll switch things up a little too. So all I did, I took off my armor and I put on the bow. Same build, um, just a regular plus 15 composite bow. I should have gotten an occult composite bow. I would be doing more damage with that because I do have the faith level for it. But, oh well. So that was really really kind of too close for comfort right there. That Black Knight Halberd with the Red Tear Stone Ring. Oh my god, the damage. The Red Tear Stone Ring is something I I don't really use it very often, ever. I don't like having that low health to hit extra damage. That's why I really prefer the Leo Ring. But, man, that thing can turn a fight around in a second, as we're about to see in this fight, actually. So, he's got no poise, well, very little poise, and that's letting my arrows and even the throwing knives stun him when they hit. So that's really not good. Um, makes it really somewhat of an, not that it's an easy fight, but it makes it significantly easier that every single hit is stunning him. So, we're just sort of going at it. And I'm not really having an issue at this point. And right there, he gets the running attack with that. And, man, the running attack with the Halberds, I always forget that even after they hit the ground, you're still not safe. So it, it looks like you're out of range. You're really not, because they slide. And I always, always forget that. So right there, I didn't know what he was doing. I thought he was going for me with that. But one of the red, happy lizards came, and he was actually going for that. And right here, I love this. Just such a hot shot move. That was so awesome. Just completely turn around the fight, hit like 600, 700 damage on me. Red tier stone power attack with the giant's halberd. So right there, I don't know what I was doing with switching arrows. Just doing it for the hell of it, really. Um, yeah. But man, that was. That was probably my favorite or second favorite fight in this entire video. And yeah, I lost in it, but who cares? That was awesome. That was an awesome move on his part. I think that might have actually been free aim, because I don't know if you would have been able to get that turn completely while you're away from the person. I actually don't know if you would have been able to wind up for the attack when you're facing away from them either. So I'm thinking that was free aimed, which makes it even cooler. Definitely a good hot shot move. Man, that thing's got some reach. I'm really starting to think he likes the weapons with the high damage output and the long reach. And who can blame him? I can't blame him for that. That's, I mean, that's really no way to go wrong with that. So right here I switched to the red tier stone and I didn't need it, but trade hits for the kill. And give him a nice little wave. So right here, this is also one of my favorite fights in the video and now we've got a person who can watch us in our little match uh, he's using the mace and he puts sunlight blade on it I do believe no he doesn't put sunlight blade on it 
Eh, whatever. The mace is a pretty fun weapon. I definitely love it. I like to see people representing the mace. It's definitely good. So, yeah. I don't know. I like the mace. It's pretty fun. Morning Star is good too. Uh, the Morning Star is what I use for bleed damage if I am on a strength based build and come across a hacker. Um, either that or the Reinforced Club. Whatever one I've got closer at the time. So, uh, sorry if you can hear my dog barking. She probably saw a leaf blow blot. She probably saw a leaf blow by or something. So right here, I noticed one of the red happy lizards. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do anything. And it kills him. <laughs> and that is why this is another one of my favorite fights in this video. Because just... It happens. It happens. Apparently, it happens twice with us, but... <clears throat> oh, well. So, right here, we go ahead and we switch things up. Just because we're starting to, you know, get a little tired of going on those builds. We had our fights. They were pretty good. They were fun. But we wanted to try something different. So, he goes and grabs a, another build. This one's a strength build. And right there, got a counter jumping attack with the... Um, with the halberd, and I thought I was in range for that hit, but I guess not. And boom, the ring hits. The iron lion lives, and this is actually the first time I've used the iron lion in a duel, in a duel setting. That is, usually I just take it into the forest and do whatever, but I've never actually use it in an in an organized match. And I didn't expect that guy to be there, and neither did he. That guy just came out out of nowhere. Neither of us knew he was here. Uh, the Sunlight Blade, or Ace, never got the message that he was invaded, so... Neither of us really expected that. So, he put on the Sunlight Blade onto his Great Club. I put on Power Within, got him with two pokes, and... Yeah. The Iron Lion... Not something you want to be meleeing against. If anything, you want to stay back and shoot it with arrows, throw pyromancies, miracles, sorceries, whatever, because I can't dodge. But anyway, this build he's using, it seems like it doesn't have very much poise, because right then, even though that was a counterattack with an arrow, that got a Leo Ring hit, because yes, you can get Leo Ring hits with arrows, there's your proof, guys. Um, even though, oh, and you can get Leo Ring hits on kicks too, apparently. I didn't know that, but hey, now I do. Um, it doesn't seem like it's got much poise, this build he's going on right now. I, I don't know. I mean, he's got the Sage's Robes, the Witch Hat, I'm not sure what gauntlets he has or what legs. If he's got Havels for both of those, then he definitely has enough poise. He's definitely got 56 poise, because that's what Havels gives. I would know it because I'm wearing it right now in this one. We switched up weapons again. He went on to his tank. I went on to my faith build. And right here I was messaging him saying, Oh my god, dude. I just recorded a video using that buff. It's awesome. I love that buff. And if you haven't seen that seen that buff or seen that video. If you haven't seen that video yet, check it out because it's somewhat entertaining. I'm a treat. I was a turtle, now I'm a tree, is the name of it. Um, yeah. So, the Black Knight Great Axe, uh, that buff, definitely a good combination. He's got Pyromancies also, which are definitely something I don't want to get hit by. Now, I don't know what was going on with me in this. I was just missing all over the place, dodging to the wrong sides of him just not really working out too well, and I don't know why, uh, I, so, I messed up so bad right then, I was trying to kick him, I felt so bad, that look skyward was directed at myself, not him, I was trying to kick, and it went for the backstab, and the stupid game didn't do what I wanted, and I'm sorry, it was a mistake, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's fine, he was cool with it, he understands, so, that's more directed at anyone watching this. I didn't mean to backstab him in the duel. So this fight here is probably the most cautious I've been, and I don't know how that did not hit him. Like, that should have at least dead-angled him or something, because it swung through him. 
off when it was on the way through. So I don't know what happened with that. And I was just having a hard time in general in this fight. I haven't fought against a Black Knight Great Axe in a long time. And I don't know what was going on with me. I just was having real problems at this point. So, right there, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to go out the side of him and kick him. That's what I was trying to do before. So right here is where I go into super extra mega cautious mode. So I was trying to see if I had the red tier stone ring on, see if I could, you know, turn things around. And actually, if I did have the red tier stone, and actually I managed to kill the red happy lizard. So I gave him a little shrug. He gave me one back. He was like, eh, whatever. So he goes and uses a green blossom and I accidentally have my blessings on. I don't use one. Don't worry, I don't use one. That would be the last thing I would do. Um, but yeah, right there, I broke his guard, and still in super extra hyper cautious mode, dodging around as much as I can, trying to keep him away from me. And, and if I had aimed that at the ground more, that would have got him. So, go and see if I can get him with a parry, but it doesn't end up happening get a little chip damage on him because he blocked it and I don't know why I put on the gold pine resin I didn't actually mean to do that I was just failing really bad at the time so right there I got him with one hit and this actually becomes a somewhat close fight right here it becomes close one more hit to either of us and we're dead but right here I hit land I hit the land. If I hit the water, it would have been different. If I didn't get caught in the trees, it would have been different, maybe. Oh, well. Great fights. Definitely check out his channel. Um, thanks for watching.